after several days testifying before Congress, disgraced and disbarred former attorney Michael Cohen did no favors for Democrats. As a matter of fact, according to Jim Jordan, the entire spectacle blew up in their face. The Daily Beast reported that Democratic staff on the House Intelligence Committee traveled to New York four times to meet with Michael Cohen before he testified to their panel, an attorney for Cohen told the Daily Beast. Fox News first reported on the trips on Friday morning. One Republican member of the committee hinted this week that members of his party were distressed by Cohen's pre-testimony communication with staff for the panel's Democratic chairman Adam Schiff. Rep. Mike Turner, the Republican, wrote a public letter to Cohen asking him about any contacts with Schiff's staff. Clearly, there will be questions as to whether or not such contacts, if they occurred, constitute witness tampering, obstruction of justice, or collusion, collaboration, and cooperation between the House Democratic majority, their staff, and you, Turner wrote. Former Donald Trump lawyer Michael Cohen lied to Congress about a Trump Tower project in Moscow, and he's going to jail for it in a few months. So, we shouldn't be surprised that he lied again when he showed up to testify on Capitol Hill last week, Rep. Jim Jordan, R.O., noted Friday on Fox News. Democrats have been trying to find evidence against Trump that could be grounds for impeachment. Or at least it sure seems that way. But as it's looking more and more like special counsel Robert Mueller's report is going to say there's not one shred of evidence to prove the Trump campaign colluded with Russia, now they've got to do something else, Jordan observed. And that something else is Cohen. Besides calling the president a racist and a con man, the witness didn't exactly provide anything to suggest Trump was guilty of obstruction of justice. Cohen did, however, potentially further perjure himself. During his testimony, the lawyer said he never desired a job in the White House, nor did he ask Trump for a presidential pardon. Others remembered differently. It blew up in their face, Jordan said. He came in here and light again. That's something the president is reminding folks about too, 